Hey guys, it's Jenny, and welcome back to my channel, Jen Jen's Creations. It has been a while, and I am trying to make a couple of videos before I head out of town to go back um, to my brother's house to help my sister-in-law take care of him. So, these are going to be super quick. But the first thing I wanted to show you was an item that I ordered um, because... I needed for myself to make it as easy as possible to sew in signatures in journals that I make. So this is called a book cradle. Now, I believe I first saw it on Gail Agostinelli's YouTube channel. She makes a lot of journals and she has one of these and I'm like, mm, I need to get one of those. So I then went to a YouTube channel and her name is Crafty Cat and I will link her YouTube channel below but she is the one that sells these. It's um, made by her husband on a 3D printer and like I said it's called a book cradle and um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So it's very very lightweight Okay, all right, and so the way that you use it is you would put your items in here and then um, poke your holes in this cradle. And the thing that I really liked about it is it has this notch. Hopefully you can see that notch down there, down the middle. And that is so... Um, it keeps the awl straight, you know, the, the sharp tool that you're using to poke the holes. So, you know, you just set your journal or your signatures in here, and then you can poke it, poke the holes directly in here. And um, shouldn't have any more mishaps like I did on my very first journal when I was sewing in the signatures. So, this does cost $30.00. Um, for me, I thought it was worth it. Um, it's going to give me, who is a little bit OCD, um, some comfort in knowing that hopefully I won't mess up a future journal. It is about nine and a half inches long, and height-wise, it is approximately three and a half inches in height. So, um... Like I said, I did order this from a website, which I will I will put that in the description box as well. But um, I believe her name is Amy that has the YouTube channel Crafty Cat. But anyway, she also sent me a little thank you envelope, which I promptly ripped <laughs> getting the sticker off that says thank you. But she sent me a flashcard, um, a tag, and uh, a bumblebee graphic, and a little 29 cent tag, and then a little ghosty. So I thought that was really sweet of Amy, and I appreciate that. And so, anyway, I thought it was worth it for me. So, um... Okay, that's all I'm going to do in this video, guys. So I just wanted to show you the book cradle that I ordered from a website. I'll put the website link below, and I'll also put the YouTube channel to Crafty Cat, whose husband makes these. So um, I'm going to do a couple more videos before I head out of town. I'll give you an update on my brother in the next video, okay? So I love all you guys. Thank you, and hello to all of my new subbies. I've gotten some new subbies recently since I haven't been able to comment uh, on my videos very much. I tried to do some of that today, but hello to my new subscribers. I'm so glad you're here, and I want to give old subscribers and new subscribers a crafty hug, big crafty hug from Texas, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.